Because I'm I hot. Mean, I mean, you are hot. Even at I 60, mean, I'm hot, right? You are hot. It's yeah. crazy. Like, I, when I watch you How perform, am I not I married? How is that? Too hot. You know, I'm too hot. You know, that's right. I'm too hot. That's what it is. You know, Why you, limit you know, myself? Hollywood is full of fairy tales and rom-coms. After all, it's portrayal of the picture perfect. White picket fence life is a huge reason why some people bother with a marriage at all. Isn't that what life is like for everyone who ties the knot? But for some celebrities, the reality of love and fulfillment looks a little different. Because I, you know, look, I'm, I'm a person who's never married. And um, I think that Randy had the most significance and he's, it's being played out now more than ever. When I look back on Randy, I, I just think, wow, I, I, I wish I could have been a better sister. That's all I really do. Some fiercely guard their independence, while others prioritize their career ambitions. Maybe they haven't found the one, or perhaps they believe love doesn't require a legal document. Whatever their reasons, they challenge something society tells them they must do and show us all that love and happiness can come in many forms. From award-winning actors who've built incredible families to chart-topping musicians who prioritize creative freedom, these stories will inspire you to celebrate unconventional paths and rewrite the definition of happily ever after. So, let's dive in and see these celebs who never got married and their reasons why. Charlize Theron Charlize Theron, the South African-born actress, has had a long and successful career. Her personal life has also been fulfilling, marked by a lengthy relationship with actor Stuart Townsend and the joyful decision to adopt two children, Jackson and August. While discussing her life with Howard Stern, Charlize revealed that marriage has never been a personal aspiration. She prioritizes her children, showering them with love and creating a nurturing environment some might use the term single to describe Charlize's current relationship status, but it's clear her life is rich with family and purpose. Lucy Liu Lucy Liu, the actress loved by many in Charlie's Angels and Kill Bill Vol. 1, has carefully navigated the line between public persona and personal life. While romantically linked to several famous men over the years, including filmmaker Zach Helm, with whom she was engaged for five months, and actor George Clooney, Lucy never walked down the aisle. Despite keeping her dating life private, Lucy did express her views on love, famously stating that it should be like lightning, intense and electrifying. In 2015, Lucy embarked on a different kind of love journey, motherhood. She chose gestational surrogacy to welcome her son Rockwell into the world. This decision, Lucy explained, arose from her desire to balance motherhood with her acting career. Her experiences with UNICEF and witnessing children around the globe further solidified her desire to become a parent. Feeling secure and established in her 40s, Lucy embraced single parenthood. She's a vocal advocate for non-traditional families and cherishes the unique bond she shares with Rockwell. Becoming a mother has been a transformative experience for Lucy, and she openly shares the joys and challenges of raising a child on her own. Sharon Stone, while appearing on The Drew Barrymore Show in October 2021, the actress explained why she has focused on her relationships with friends and family instead of romantic ones since finalizing her divorce from journalist Phil Bronstein in 2004. I'm done dating. I've had it with dating, Stone told Barrymore. I just find people to be insincere and not worth my time. I enjoy my alone time and time with my kids and my friends more. The star said that she didn't feel like she needed another kid, which made Barrymore laugh. I don't want any insincerity and bologna and game playing. The Basic Instinct actress added that she feels men and women aren't at the same place right now, further elaborating that she has really good men friends, but she just feels when it comes to emotional maturity in relationships that men and women are seemingly in different spots. In a hilarious moment, Stone held up her dog Bandit to the camera and said, so here's my boyfriend. Barrymore did the same with her dog Douglas. And here's my boyfriend, ending with a funny comment. Apparently, we both like hairy men, so that's good. Dana Delaney Dana Delaney, who was famously on Desperate Housewives, has a unique perspective on relationships. While she's dated in the past, these haven't blossomed into marriage or children. Dana has openly expressed a love for independence. Marriage wasn't initially a priority, but her views seemed to evolve in the mid-2000s. 
In a 2006 interview, she mentioned being ready for marriage, emphasizing the importance of finding someone who aligns with her intellectually, is funny, and possesses kindness. A 2007 interview explained her outlook in more detail. While marriage held some appeal, she also acknowledged the fun and personal growth she experienced during her single years. Her career has flourished, and she's found happiness by following her own path. Diane Keaton Diane Keaton's career has some of the best romantic comedies, think Annie Hall, and Something's Gotta Give. But when it comes to her own love life, the story takes a different turn. Despite starring in films all about love and partnership, Diane never walked down the aisle in real life. That doesn't mean she hasn't had a rich and colorful romantic history. She's been linked to some of Hollywood's most legendary leading men, including Al Pacino and Warren Beatty. Later in life, she made the joyful decision to adopt two children, becoming a single mom by choice. Does she have any regrets? Not a bit. In a 2019 interview with the Associated Foreign Press, she offered a refreshingly honest perspective. Marriage isn't something I dwell on. Sure, I realize it's an uncommon path, and maybe I missed out on something. But hey, you can't have it all, right? And I'm definitely not unhappy. Digging a little deeper, Diane has spoken openly about her reasons for staying single. In a conversation with Katie Couric, she revealed, Part of it was the fear of compromise. I saw what happened to my mom, and I craved adventure for myself. Plus, there was a definite fear of commitment with men in general. So, while a traditional marriage wasn't in the cards, Diane built a fulfilling life on her own terms. She dated who she wanted, embraced motherhood, and carved out a phenomenal career for herself. Who says you have to follow a script to find happiness? Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves is the first name that pops up for many people when they think about action heroes and wholesome characters. But when it comes to his personal life, Keanu's all about keeping things private. Marriage? Not quite in the cards for this Hollywood star. Though, there were rumors about a possible marriage with Winona Ryder, his co-star in Dracula. It's quite a funny story because the marriage was apparently an accident. The two had a wedding scene in the movie, and director Francis Ford Coppola wanted it to be as authentic as possible. He may have taken it to the extreme, however. The priest in the scene was a real one, so there were some blurred lines about whether the marriage was valid or not. Ryder has joked about it, saying, We actually got married in Dracula. No, I swear to God, I think we're married in real life. Fast forward to 2019, and Keanu finally stepped out with his partner, artist Alexandra Grant, at the LACMA Art Plus Film Gala. Though their public debut surprised many, rumors suggest they'd been dating for years. Keanu met Alexandra Grant in 2009 at a dinner party. Their connection went beyond friendship. They even collaborated on two books together. Before Alexandra, Keanu was linked to his longtime friend and filmmaker Brenda Davis, and even became godfather to her child. His name was also connected to model actress China Chow. Matt Dillon Matt Dillon, Hollywood heartthrob with a string of high-profile relationships over the years. Now, at 56, he's been dating the lovely Roberta Mastro Michelle for five years. Engagement rumors swirled in 2017, but the couple seems content to keep things low-key. There's a certain irony with Matt. The guy's been in countless love stories on screen, but his own personal life is totally different. Many of his relationships have played out in the public eye, and fans are still waiting to see him walk down the aisle. His 90s romance with Cameron Diaz might be the one everyone remembers most. These days, it's all about Roberta Mastro Michelle. They've been together for five years, but talks of marriage haven't quite materialized yet. One thing's for sure, Matt seems to be enjoying a happy and private partnership. Kylie Minogue Despite her immense talent and success, Kylie Minogue has never been married. She's spoken openly about this choice, revealing to Red Magazine, via HuffPost, that marriage wasn't a personal goal for her. She credits her upbringing for shaping this perspective, explaining her parents never put forward the idea of a traditional wedding as a goal. This isn't to say Kylie hasn't experienced love. She's had high-profile relationships and even faced challenges like overcoming breast cancer. Through it all, she's maintained a strong sense of independence and found fulfillment outside of marriage. Leonardo DiCaprio Leonardo DiCaprio is a name everyone knows. He's an Oscar-winning actor with a career filled with iconic roles. Despite past relationships with supermodels like Giselle Bundchen and Bar Raffaele, 
Leonardo, now 49, hasn't thought about married life. He once told Parade Magazine that his philosophy on marriage is that marriage can't be forced. It just happens when it happens. This outlook hasn't sat well with some people. Considering the controversial age gaps of most of the relationships he's been a part of, and the idea that he breaks up with his girlfriends as soon as they turn 25. Al Pacino Al Pacino is the legendary actor who brought iconic characters like Michael Corleone to life. At 84 years old, his career achievements are undeniable. While he hasn't completely ruled marriage out, saying never say never to the idea in 2015, it seems bachelorhood suits him just fine. That doesn't mean he hasn't built a beautiful family. He's a proud dad to three children, Julie Marie, twins Anton, and Olivia, with partners Jan Tarrant and actress Beverly D'Angelo. In fact, he recently welcomed a baby girl in 2023 with his 30-year-old girlfriend, Noor Alfala. In March 2024, Alfala spoke publicly for the first time about her relationship with Pacino in an interview with Vogue Arabia. According to the producer, their romance blossomed over their love for film. Al lives down the street from my house and we started spending every day together, playing chess and watching movies. It was like film school with Al Pacino, she said. I guess it just became something more. So while Al might not be walking down the aisle anytime soon, his life is filled with love and family in its own unique way. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder, a talented and acclaimed actress, has had a rich personal life. While her relationship with Johnny Depp during the filming of Edward Scissorhands captured public attention, it wasn't long-lasting. She's been in a committed relationship with Scott McInlay Hahn since 2011. In an interview with The Edit, via ET, Winona spoke about her views on marriage. She explained that witnessing her parents' long and happy marriage set a high bar, making her cautious about divorce. While acknowledging the validity of divorce for others, she stated a preference for a lasting commitment. John Cusack John Cusack, known for his roles in 80s films, has had a string of relationships with some of Hollywood's most acclaimed actresses, including Minnie Driver, Lily Taylor, and Neve Campbell. Despite this, he's never married. Cusack has often portrayed the unconventional heartthrob on screen, and this seems to extend to his personal life. He's known for being private about his relationships, leaving fans to wonder if he's a dedicated bachelor or simply keeps his dating life under wraps. One thing's for sure, throughout his career, marriage hasn't been something he looked forward to. In a 2009 L interview, Cusack's independent spirit shone through when asked about marriage. In a 2009 Ella profile, when asked if Cusack could describe why he hasn't thought to get married in five words or less, Cusack had a quick-witted and valid reply. I can do it in seven. Society doesn't tell me what to do. Choosing to remain single and childless, Cusack has carved out a successful career in entertainment for over three decades. Marissa Tomei Marissa Tomei is the star who stole our hearts in My Cousin Vinny. While she's had several long-term relationships, like the one with actor Logan Marshall Green, marriage just hasn't been part of the plan. She's actually been pretty open about her views, saying something like, Marriage isn't really my thing, and I don't think women need to have kids to be fulfilled. It's true that many of her past relationships were in the spotlight, Robert Downey Jr., Christian Slater, and Lenny Kravitz. But these days, she's happily single and focusing on her amazing career and enjoying life on her own terms. With all that success and happiness, there's no pressure to rush into anything. Anna Kournikova Anna Kournikova, the tennis star, is a pro at keeping her personal life out of the spotlight. For years, she's managed to keep things that way, but even the best efforts can't hide everything. Everyone knows about her longtime relationship with singer Enrique Iglesias. The question of whether they ever got married is still a mystery. They've been together since 2001 and have three beautiful children. Enrique himself summed it up perfectly in an interview. We've been together for so long, what difference does a piece of paper make? Marriage is great, but it doesn't define our relationship. It all started in 2001 with that steamy music video for Enrique's song, Escape. That's where they met. They went public a year later, but have stayed pretty private ever since. In 2017, their twins, Nicholas and Lucy, arrived, followed by their daughter, Mary, two years later. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn is a Hollywood icon, but the traditional idea of finding love 
has never been her thing. That doesn't mean her heart is empty, though. Goldie's been in a fantastic relationship with Kurt Russell since 1983. They met way back in 1966 on a Disney movie set, but their love story didn't start until 1983 on the set of Swing Shift. They've just chosen to go on their own path, one that doesn't involve a wedding ceremony. The amazing thing is that they've been together for over 30 years, raising four kids together as a strong unit. Decades together, but still technically single? Yep, that's Goldie and Kurt. As Goldie Hawn herself said in 1990, isn't marriage about devotion? We already feel devoted to each other. As long as there's honesty, care, and love, that's what matters. They maintain that sentiment in their interview with People Magazine, saying the marriage certificate wouldn't change anything fundamental in their relationship. Coco Chanel Coco Chanel, the name we associate with luxury perfumes and iconic handbags, might surprise you. Despite building a multi-million dollar fashion empire, her personal life wasn't quite the fairy tale some might expect. Coco, the woman behind the brand, had her share of love interests. While none blossomed into a lasting marriage, these relationships were significant. True fashionista, Chanel wasn't afraid to stand out despite social expectations at the time. She was known to have been involved with some of the most influential men of her era, including the poet Pierre Reverdy and the illustrator Paul Arib. When questioned about her decision to never marry, Coco famously quipped, There have been several duchesses of Windsor. There is only one Chanel. Her words perfectly capture her independent spirit and focus on her career, Cheryl Crow. Few people have lived the dramatic love life that Cheryl Crow has. Despite her huge success with her singing career, there's no denying her relationships have been a wild. Remember her time with cycling legend Lance Armstrong? That ended before the doping allegations came to light. Over the years, her name has been linked to some real talents like Eric Clapton and Owen Wilson. But Cheryl isn't one to dwell on the past. She's actually been very open about being happy she never walked down the aisle. She's even joked, thank you God for not letting me get married. She appeared on Howard Stern's show to promote her documentary, Cheryl, and even with a laugh admitted, Honestly, I sometimes wonder how I never got married. I almost did, three times. One past relationship ended right before her breast cancer diagnosis, and Cheryl credits that experience with giving her the strength to move on. Today, the California-based singer is a single mom rocking life at 60 with her two kids. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey. This is a name that requires no introduction. Self-made billionaire, media mogul, the list goes on. But there's one area of life where things haven't quite followed the traditional path, and that's marriage. Oprah and Stedman Graham have been together for nearly 30 years. It's a long-lasting relationship by any measure, but they haven't considered marriage. According to Oprah herself, in an essay for Oprah Daily, that's exactly what keeps their relationship strong. We both agree that getting married wouldn't have worked for us. As Oprah explains it, they've built a partnership where Stedman has his own identity separate from being Oprah's man, and they share core values, especially integrity. Plus, they genuinely celebrate each other's successes and purpose in life. Their journey began in 1986, the same year the Oprah Winfrey Show launched, when they met at a charity event. An engagement followed in 1992, but Oprah soon realized marriage wasn't what she wanted. She's been open about this in O Magazine, explaining, Part of me wanted that validation, to know he saw me as worthy, but the daily grind of marriage? Not for me. The show was my priority, and we both knew it. When it comes to motherhood, Oprah finds fulfillment in other ways. She's spoken about the meaningful maternal relationships she's built, and how the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa fills a special place in her heart. Those girls are my family, she said in an interview. They fill that maternal void, maybe even overflowing it with love. Jacqueline Bissett Jacqueline Bissett is the epitome of Hollywood glamour. While she's never shied away from love, finding the one hasn't been easy. Many of her relationships were in the public eye, and she's known to have dated younger men throughout her life. Marriage, so far, is not part of the plan. Jacqueline herself has spoken openly about her reasons. In an interview with The Independent, she revealed a preference for independence and a healthy dose of self-awareness. While she's enjoyed long-term relationships, several lasting seven years, and one for a full 14 marriage just wasn't the right fit. As Jacqueline explains it, 
It's funny how spending a lot of time with someone can reveal everything. Sometimes you see bad habits you might have missed before. The idea of marrying into those habits, not for me. She goes on to say, thankfully, I haven't had any bad relationships. So, while a traditional marriage path isn't Jacqueline's story, it seems she's found a way to create fulfilling partnerships on her own terms. Lady Gaga Lady Gaga is famous for her chart-topping hits, sold-out stadiums, and an interesting social media presence. But her love life has been less about viral moments and more about how to have intimate relationships while being a megastar on the international stage. Gaga's current partner is Michael Polanski, a Harvard graduate and a leader in the field of cancer research. Their romance started subtly, with rumors surfacing in early 2020 after they were spotted sharing a New Year's Eve kiss. Sources close to the singer suggested a sudden relationship with claims they'd been seeing each other for weeks prior. Social media offered glimpses into their connection. Gaga posted photos of them together, but rumors persisted about the true nature of their relationship. An Us Weekly source in 2020 cast doubt on their seriousness, suggesting Gaga enjoyed the company while keeping her options open. Despite the initial ambiguity, things seemed to solidify over time. In 2022, they made a public appearance at the Critics' Choice Awards, and in 2021, after a traumatic dognapping incident, Gaga referred to Polanski and her dogs as her whole life in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Whether their bond blossoms into a long-term commitment or remains a memory, Lady Gaga's approach to love is as unique as her music and persona. That was all for celebs who never got married. Whether they've embraced single parenthood, built fulfilling partnerships, or prioritized artistic expression, they each got to define what happily ever after meant for themselves. No matter what anyone says, they live their lives on their own terms and conditions without dealing with the duties and obligations that come with marriage. Did you like this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.